How to plan an SEO strategy for your website. The simplest way to plan and execute an effective search engine optimization strategy to promote your website for higher rankings and more traffic. Summary of steps and plan of action. 1. Correct keyword research. 2. Establish SEO target keywords. 3. Identify areas of optimization to focus on. 4. Compile data and set a plan of action. You can use the SEO.com checklist and other downloads to help you do this. How to do correct keyword research. You can use free keyword research tools like the Google Keyword Tool or you can use paid specialty keyword research software like Keyword Elite or NicheBot. You can use these tools to gather both new fresh keywords from the Google search results or to analyse keywords from competing websites. The other place to gather keywords is from your web statistics program such as Google Analytics. Web stats can produce a gold mine of the keyword phrases that you might not otherwise have thought of, like phrases containing an unusual order of keywords or long tail keywords. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of these keyword tools in a moment. One of the most widely used uh, tools on the internet is the Google Keyword Tool, usually for pay-per-click advertising. But you can also use it to analyse your, both your website uh, and other websites for possible potential keywords to use. So you can either use descriptive words or phrases search. And here we're looking up ringworm remedy or remedies for ringworm as starting keywords. And I've selected use synonyms. So we'll get some keyword ideas now. You can see there's a full list here that you can export with CSV or text. I'm not going to go into this too much because most people are familiar with this tool already. But the good thing you can use on this again is the website content search. So if you have a competing website that is in direct competition with you, uh, then you can discover some of the keywords that they're using. And that's the Google Keyword Tool. My keyword research tool of choice is Keyword Elite because it's got so many different functions. It allows me to uh, collect keywords from various search engines from Google to Yahoo and Miva, etc. And then after I've collected those keywords and filtered them out, then I can move them to another project within Keyword Elite and check to see how many competing websites are competing for those keywords. Uh, and I'll show you that in just a second. If I want to on this page, I can actually filter out uh, keywords that contain words I don't want, like dog or cat, ringworm, etc. You can see here, this is project two in Keyword Elite, that those keywords that I collected before, I've now moved them across into uh, this report, which tells me obviously the keyword in the left hand side it tells me the results which is how many competing web pages there are for those keywords and how many searches are conducted for those keywords every month among other things that help with PPC etc on the side. So that's the tool I like to use for keyword research because it's really comprehensive and you can also export the results in CSV or text file or save them to recover them later on. How to target or select keyword phrases to work on in your SEO strategy. To establish which keywords you're going to use in your SEO strategy, first you want to take the keywords that you have entered, find out which ones have the best um, amount of searches and the least amount of competition. Long tail key phrases you'll find are usually the ones that have the least amount of competition and these are often really well good good for conversion as well as stated before. So you want to establish keywords again that have high search volume with low to medium competition to target first. Next you're going to check where these keywords are ranking in Google already. Identifying areas of optimization to focus on. You're going to identify the strength of keyword competition and how to take advantage of it. 
now that you've picked out all of the keywords that you want to target, you want to see where you're currently ranking for each of those keywords if you have an existing website, assuming that is. Um, you can do that manually by going into Google and entering in your keyword and then scrolling down trying to find the page that you are ranking for. Um, obviously this would take a lot of time if you had lots of keywords. So I use uh, SEO Elite to do this. I can enter in or import in, in text format all of my different keywords. I can hit the Go button and it will come up with a result for every single page that I'm ranking for, for each of these keywords. So you can see here that for Red Scalp, this page here is actually ranking in Google at number 20 position. It was at one point in the second position in Google and it's dropped down by 18 points and in the last week it's dropped down by 5 points. So you can see that this is a great piece of software to use to, to be able to track where your pages are ranking. Now that you've done your keyword research you can compile your data and set out a plan of action. Next you need to enter each one of the keywords you want to target one by one into the search engine of your choice. Then you need to write down the top ranking website URL, ignoring AdSense pages, so you can assess how many incoming links the top website has and whether or not the title, description and meta tags contain the keyword phrase that you are targeting. Checking out the competition. I use SEO Elite to analyse both my own website and competing websites to establish how many incoming links are pointing to the pages that rank well. You can enter a web page's URL that is placed in the top position in a search engine and SEO Elite will tell you how many pages link to this website from both internal pages and external websites. This is really important because this is a major factor affecting rankings in search engines. Once you know how many links a page has that is ranking well, that gives you an idea of what you need to shoot for as far as going and getting incoming links to your pages to beat the com competition. The spreadsheet you see here you can either download from easyseo.com or you can create your own. What it is is a little spreadsheet that you can use to record where your pages are ranking for which keyword and you can also include how many incoming links are coming into competing websites that are currently ranking number one for that key phrase. You can see by this spreadsheet that I now have a list of keywords and URLs to base my SEO plan around. I'm going to start creating my list of intended actions from this. Just note that this spreadsheet is based on a form we have created on easyseo.com that you can enter in your keywords too and it will come up with all of this information ready for you to export. You can see in this spreadsheet that you can start adding ideas for creating content to get links back to your website like articles if you want to get authority links back from top article websites. You can add anything you like here but the point is that you can refer to this sheet at a glance when you want to know what keyword to target next or what content you intended creating. Easy SEO shows you how to create articles correctly and use Web 2.0 pages and other factors correctly to get links back to your website. In this slide you can see in the Easy SEO members area a private place to store your completed content items under their appropriate folders. Every time you complete an article or other content item you can simply add it to your project under the appropriate task you have set. We provide this online project service free for our members and it's free to join and sign up. You can download and use easyseo.com checklists and plan of action tools from the website. Now that you've finished analysing which keywords you want to target, where your website currently ranks and what other websites are doing to get to rank where they are, including how many incoming links they have, as well as on-page factors like meta tags. You can formulate your plan of action to match what the top ranking sites are doing. Of course there are other things you need to consider, like whether or not incoming links are coming from authority sites or not, and how well the search engines can find and follow links on your and other people's websites. But this video is just designed to give you an overview of where you can start. 
You can become an Easy SEO member for free and get access to all of our worksheets, videos and even an area to store your files for submission. It doesn't have to be confusing or overwhelming to plan and perform an SEO strategy for your website. You just need a roadmap to follow, tools and some support so you know you're on the right track. We'd love to see you in the community and to help you achieve your goals. Thanks for watching and have a great day.